Hello. In just 5 minutes, we'll go over everything we've learned about this drawing style in both designer and pixel persona. Ready? Let's go. Start by using the pencil tool to create all the line work. Set auto close to near, turn off use line style, and enable use fill in the context toolbar. As always, try to make the lines connect as much as possible to completely close the areas where you'll add color. Sometimes, you might even overlap the lines and clean them up later. It takes a little extra time, but it works. I'm drawing the strokes as vector lines and using the node tool, or holding control to quickly adjust lines. So once you're done, group the strokes together. Now, use the Shape Builder tool to remove any unnecessary lines. If you're more comfortable with raster drawing, you can switch to Pixel Persona instead. In Pixel Persona, everything stays on a single layer, while in Designer Persona, each stroke is separate. If you need to select a specific curve within the group, just double-click on it. Now for coloring. This video combines both modes, Designer and Pixel Persona. We're using a reference layer workflow. Go to Pixel Persona. Create a new pixel layer above the ink group layer and use the flood fill tool to fill colors. Set the source to current layer and below. For this drawing, I'm separating colors into different layers, one for the bear's head, another for the body, plus layers for the cup and milk cereal, each color For shading, there are three methods. The first method is Protect Alpha. Click Protect Alpha, then paint directly inside that layer. You can use the brush tool with a normal blend mode or switch to multiply, overlay, add, or anything else from the context toolbar to create shadows, highlights, and details. This method works, but editing later can be tricky. Another method is Clipping Mask. Create a new pixel layer, then drag it inside the target layer, or click Insert inside selection icon at the top before creating the new pixel layer. This way, you can paint inside the shape without affecting the base color. Personally, I find this method more convenient because it's easier to edit later. Another option is to switch back to Designer Persona. Select the layer you want to shade. Click Insert inside Selection icon, then paint the shadows. Set the blend mode to multiply and add a slight Gaussian blur if needed. You can also use the brush tool in multiply mode to paint shadows directly. You can do this in both modes as well. Once that's done, refine the details, add highlights, and you're all set. I've been testing ways to make my videos shorter and more concise while still keeping all the important details. This way, it's easier for you to follow along without spending too much time watching. My content might cover similar topics, but if you stick around until the end, you'll probably find some useful tips. The techniques I use aren't overly complicated, so even beginners can follow along. Let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything you'd like me to improve, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to make the content even better. Thanks for watching.